I'm not saying we're going to get an email. All right. Thank you guys for mustache. Yeah. I really appreciate that information. <laughs> now, I want to let you know, I will be famous on national TV one day, but that's only on court TV, so... <laughs> <laughs> um, before we begin, does anyone want to do a shot with me? I am a little nervous. Thank you. Know, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now, before we begin, I am obligated to let you know that this comedy set will be reported for the eventual trial that will result. <laughs> well, good evening, Front Point. Sorry, good evening, Front Point. How's everybody doing? <laughs> now, moment of silence. I'll start my set off with a reading from the Necronomicon. Thank you. No, no, just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> out there who told me I never mounted. <laughs> all the people out there who, live, who are living above the buildings I was hustling for another day. <laughs> <laughs> and all the, all the it's all good the <laughs> <It's not good. laughs> Now, again, a disclaimer. Kevin Westman and Derek Snell, I don't know where they are. They are completely okay with everything I'm about to say to <laughs> I'm going to tell you a couple of things about me. You know, we're all friends here. We can all get to know each other. But uh, it's clear to me that uh, Kevin and Derek have been abducted by aliens. So <laughs> I just want to take this moment to welcome our new alien overlords. Long may you reign. Thank you. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, and I honestly have no idea who in here wouldn't know me, uh, I'm assuming there's like two of them. So for the two people in here who don't know me, the NSA knows me as Matthew Bloom. My Christian name is Leroy Raekwon Jenkins. So. <laughs> in the webs or in the streets, particularly the block, I am known as Baby Seafood, which I believe is an Amazonian reference meaning prideful warrior. I'm not 100% about that. Uh, geologically speaking, I am 26 years old. Maturity-wise, if you speak to folks on my team, I'm a solid five. <laughs> when I say solid five, I don't mean five out of ten. I mean I'm five years old. <laughs> So it is safe to say that Front Point does encourage child labor because they have hired a five-year-old to work here. Uh, I have been here for eight months, which uh, is long enough to allow me the pleasure of becoming the youngest VP in company's history. Although technically, my actual job title is Senior Director of TPS Reporting. Um, for everything else you've read about me or heard about me, whether it's on the bathroom stalls, the interwebs, uh, you know, Juan, the guy in the white panel band who gives out free candy, they're all true. Uh, but those charges were dropped. Uh, now that uh, we can get on with the actual comedy part, uh, I do want to let you know I've prepared 30 minutes of uninterrupted poop jokes, so please, please get ready for it. <laughs> um, but uh, that is one of the first things I noticed about Front Point. You know, I came in here to do my interview. You know, I'm really excited. I've heard great things about this. Uh, I'm in the middle of my like pre-interview routine of committing hate crimes against the first floor bathroom, <laughs> and I look up and what do I see? I see a sign that asks people to please exercise common courtesy <laughs> and issue a courtesy flush. I've never in my life seen this. I've read about it on the internet. I've never seen it in real life. Uh, I took this down from the wall. Jordan, you might want to put it back up afterwards. <laughs> I have to on with an earring, though. So I'll pass this around just to let you guys. Uh, and this just speaks to my superior decision-making skills. As soon as I saw that sign, I knew that this is the place where I need to walk. I just said, man. You have to work at a place that encourages courtesy flushing. It's a civilized thing to do. So, you're right. Um, also, just want to, this is a little personal, but we're all friends here, so I feel like I can share this with you guys. You're, you, you strike me as type of people who don't judge. Um, whenever I am in the stalls, you know, doing my, my filthy business, uh, I like to refer to it as conducting an orchestra. But I am so paranoid when someone gets in the stall next to me, it's yes. like going to be Chris Villar or Peter Rogers or Eric. And I'm just, I'm freaking out that they're going to lose their minds and be like, Oh my God, what are you doing to our poor toilets, you animal? You are fired. You are not dreaming big. I mean, you know, these are things that are in the line in these situations. 
<laughs> um, besides that, though, move on from the poop jokes before we come back, because I realize I have like 28 more minutes to give y'all. Um, I do have a bone to pick, and I wanted to use this platform to go ahead and express that. Uh, facilities. I don't know where you are, Ann Richards, Jordan, I see you over there, Kristen. Um, I don't know what you guys do all day. I assume it's frolicking through a field of daisies. That's what's based off Jordan's Facebook program. <laughs> but I've submitted five tickets. Not one, not two, not three, not five tickets to have y'all come and fix the clogged drain in my sink in my townhouse. Ain't nobody shut up! <laughs> are all upset. I look like an a-hole. So, Kristen, I don't know where you are, but after all this is cleaned up, if you could just swing by and take care of that for me, that would be so awesome. Um, I'd ask Jordan or Ann to do it, but I know you guys are going to be picking up cigarette butts, and that's like your favorite activity ever. That's the reason I like So, I don't want to take that away from you. I'm not a mean guy. but uh, I'm going to get you more sugar. To support reps. I don't know if we have any support reps in here. Uh, yeah. Uh, as, as soon as y'all heard Matthew Bloom was here, I knew it was going through your mind. Oh, you. Mm, mm. You have a lot of nerve coming up here. I would just like to apologize. Yes, I'm the dude who promises free moats to people. So if anyone's ever called in wondering when their free moat's going to be installed, I'm the dude responsible for that. <laughs> I'd like to apologize. Whatever you can do to make a sale, though, whatever you can do. So, I, I do tell people that we will have someone come out, i.e. Jordan or Tim, with a backhoe to dig a 20-foot deep trench around your property. We will then fill that trench with water. If you have ultimate monitoring, you can upgrade to lock. <laughs> I mean, come on, people. Jeez. Uh, I don't really know what it's good for. You know, it keeps the green light at bay. I don't know why it has to be I didn't write this joke talk, okay? You're my manager. You know better than anybody else. I don't even know what I need to write. I just show up, I click on buttons, I watch colors go by. It's very fun. I'm a simple man with simple pleasures, y'all. Please very much. Now, to the new hires. Uh, if we have anyone who is learning on the floor, I want to give you guys some advice that I learned the hard way. If you ever, 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 ever have a question about anything to do with Front Point, but especially about compliance. I want you to feel free to IM, email, or go by her desk. She sits on the first floor right by retention, Miss Ryan Shepard. She would love it. She would love it if you came by her desk and just ask her any question whatsoever. She likes to help you. And like I said, I do this the frightening way. So please just keep that in mind. Ryan Shepard. That's Shepard with an ER, not an AR. <laughs> In closing, I don't know what the prizes are here. I just like to request some alternative ones. If you are, I don't even know what the adjective is, but if you decide to let me win, which just FYI, I wouldn't, uh, please, 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 force Derek Snell to call me every night before I go to bed and read to me a chapter from Game of Thrones. <laughs> Is something that I would want more of. Um, now I realize that you can't actually force someone to do that, but uh, if you don't, you know, want to give me that prize, let me teach you arms 101 to the next one. I have to tell them though, I'm Peter Rogers. <laughs> what is the worst that can happen, people? You just see me do the stand-up, clearly I'm well put together. Alright, thank you very much, guys.